Sugar's effects on me physically were obvious, but my cravings for it and the mental toll it was taking prompted me to explore what it was doing to my brain. So I took my pimply face to the Oregon Research Institute. This group of scientists, who I'm trusting enormously, own this colossal magnetic sucking machine called an fMRI, which they are going to put me and my brain into. They will then show me images of this high sugar, low fat milkshake, and then feed me the milkshake through a special mega straw. Then they'll take some photos of my brain and show me how it reacted. The first step is that we see what's called a cue or a trigger, which in my case was the milkshake. It can be a picture of one or the real thing. Now, when we see this sugary cue or trigger, a chemical called dopamine is released in our brain. This is an evolutionary urge when sweetness was rare. So when we saw it, our brain said, get that, because you need it for quick energy and to feel good. Now, the next step is that we get the sugary item. We bring it to our mouth and we taste its sweetness. It's then that chemicals called opioids, beta endorphins are released and we feel terrific. Sugar lights up the same reward areas of nicotine, cocaine and sex. But it doesn't last long. Now, if some of us eat sugary foods often enough and establish this happy feeling of reward, it can create subconscious or mindless habits which are easily triggered by more images of sugary foods. Throw into the mix that the fructose half of sugar also affects our appetite control centers, plus the glucose half affects our moods. And suddenly, we have a very volatile combination on our hands. 